The four pillars which underpin good teaching and learning in, in relation to calculation. Basically, I think what these are is these are the foundation cornerstones of really effective teaching and learning in relation to calculation. And they're the four cornerstones that we've built into Abacus. And so that's why I think this is, you know, really good news for teachers. Because these are the things that I guess if you're thinking um, in terms of your school and you're thinking, age 11, I look at a child who's confident, who's comfy with numbers, who can kind of do a sum if you throw it at them. You know, they're not necessarily brilliant, but they're, they're fine, they're comfy. And then I look at the child who is not comfy, who is frail, who you can th easily throw them a sum which gives them a pain in their tummy or which they have a, a problem answering. They're not confident. So if I look at the difference between those two children, the, the things that the child who is confident has that the child who is struggling does not have, those are my four pillars. And the first pillar is really relates to place value. A child who is confident has a robust understanding of how our number system works. They understand how the numbers, the relationship between the numbers, how the numbers have to be written. How, what happens if you multiply or divide by 10? What happens if you add or subtract 10? A hundred, a thousand. They understand the way the powers of 10 works. They basically understand how the wonderful number system we have inherited from the Hindus and the Arabs works. And so that's the first pillar. The second pillar relates to number facts. A child who's comfy has a really good bank of number facts on which they draw. And that bank's just solid. They just know their facts. And I'm not talking just about tables facts. I'm talking about the bonds to 10, the numbers that make all the numbers up to 10. So five and three is eight and so forth. And the numbers that make the numbers up to 20. And then using those number facts in others. So 200 and 800 makes 1,000 and so on and so forth. And also, of course, the multiplication and division facts. A child who's confident has a really good bank of those. The third pillar that underpins good teaching and learning in mathematics is a developmental approach to the use of images and models. Children need to have something in their head when they're doing calculations. They need to have an image. Maths is a, an abstract subject. You need something to be seeing, something to be drawing upon. So we need a developmental approach to the use of good, solid images and models that grows with you as you grow in your mathematical understanding. And fourthly, the last pillar relates to doubling and halving. Doubling and halving is the simplest, easiest mathematical function to teach children. And it shows them what a mathematical function is, which is really important. Also, doubling and halving are crucial parts, crucial um, strategies in doing mental multiplication and division. In mental multiplication and division, doubling and halving is essential. And so we need to get that rock solid. Mm -hmm.